nice to see you. Wish I could have been there. Did you win lots of money, Dad? You don't bet on the cup, son. It's anybody's race. Tell you what, though. Boss was so pleased he gave us a little bonus. Enough for us to go back to New Zealand? How can you go back to New Zealand? You've never even been there. Neither of you. <laughs> None of you have. I'm the only fair income keeper here. Now, your mum and I have been talking about this. We've decided it's time to go back to the land of the long white cloud. For sure. We should be breeding winners of our own, not making other people's fortunes. Next race meeting's the last. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> are we going to live on the homestead, Dad? Of course we are, mate. Wait till you see it. Beautiful little house, surrounded by beautiful mountains. Beautiful, beautiful green, green grass. grass. <laughs> Enough room for a dozen mares. You're going to love it, Rosie. All your dreams come true. Hey, Dad, can I come to the racetrack with you? You promised. Well, how do you handle this one, Harley? Spook's easy. Turn that thing off! Turn it off and get out of here! Yes. We're going to live in Charlton on the homestead. My grandma and grandpa died and left it to my dad. Yeah? It's a beautiful spot out there. Some of the best scenery in the country. And that's saying something. That's what my dad reckoned. But he's glad to be coming back home. Actually, my husband died a few weeks ago. There was nothing to keep us in Australia, so... I'm really sorry. Interested in horses, are you? Mm. She thinks of nothing else. You'll like Charlton then. That's real horse country.
right. Yeah. You right, lady? Yes, thanks. Talk about a close hey. shave. Look, we didn't see you till we're nearly on top of you. Well, no bones broken, luckily. But the car, we're, we're going to need some help. Yeah, no problem. Pull her out with the U-Day, boss. Sorry, no time. Can't just leave her stranded. Hey, you! Yeah, you. The brown horse. Did you see which way he went? Five minutes, boss. I can't spare five minutes. I want that Brumby's hide by tonight. I'm paying you lot to follow orders. Now, come on, let's get on with it! Sorry, lady. Where's Magnolia Street, please? Are you John Peterson's wife? Yes, I'm Rose Peterson. And um, these are my children. We were sorry to hear about the accident. Yeah, yeah, rotten thing to happen. First on your left, first on your left again. That's Magnolia Street. This is a homestead? I, I, I didn't expect a mansion, but, but this. Oh, it's great. We could grow veggies and keep chickens. You can collect the eggs every morning. This house isn't fit for chooks. Mum, this is what Dad wanted. All our dreams come true. Oh. I wish your father was here now. Look, we can keep my horse down there. Dad said I could have a pony. Sure.
think those men caught that stallion? Anna, why is it all you ever think about is horses? Sorry. He was very fast. I'm sure he got away. There's heaps of wood in the shed, Mum. Good. And we'll be warm tonight. Mike, come here, please. Hmm. There's water in the kitchen. You know what to do with it. Well, at least we have food, fire, and a roof over our head. Maybe things aren't so bad. Everything will look better in the morning. Where's Wayne? I don't know, Dad. Why is he in such a bad mood? He nearly got that brumby today, but it got away on him again. Evening, Jenny. Is your Hi. dad home? Yeah. Dad, someone to see you. What do you want, George? Uh, I thought you might be interested, Mr. Garrett. We've got some new arrivals in town. The Peterson woman and her two brats. When? Oh, I arrived just as me and the missus were shutting up shop. Walked into town like they'd walked all the way from Auckland. Walked? <sighs> the car, that must have been them. How's that? No, forget it. Thanks for letting me know. Well, I suppose you'll see to it they don't stay long. Hey, Mr. Garrett? See you later, kids. Bye, Mr. Peabody. <laughs> <laughs> Why does Dad hate the Petersons so much? Because their father killed one of his best horses. Well, that's no reason to hate his wife and kids. You tell Dad that. Yeah, and you'd better not get friendly with them if you know what's good for you.
did you? You really hurt yourself. It's all right. It's all right, mate. It's okay. Why don't you come home with me? Because if you stay wild, you'll always be running from those men. You hear that, don't you? Proper beds to arrive. Did you sleep all right? Yeah, fine. Morning. Morning. I'm Jean Bailey. You're the Petersons, right? Uh, yes. I heard you were coming. You intending keeping horses here? Yeah. No. Well, I thought I'd introduce myself anyway. I'm the local farrier. Got all the gear on the truck here. Well, it's nice to meet you, but I'm afraid we won't be needing any horses shod. Well, I do our jobs too. Part-time mechanic, school bus driver, horse breaker, blacksmith. Guess I'll be seeing a bit of you. Well, guess I'd better get cracking. Mum, ask her in. Um, uh, Jean, do you have time for a cup of coffee? Oh, thanks. Pity we didn't get that Brumby yesterday. Yeah, he's not long for this world. Sooner or later he'll come back, nosing around my mares. When he does... I hear that was the Petersons we nearly ran off the road yesterday. Yeah, yeah pity he didn't do a better job. <laughs> <laughs> the wife must have flipped when she clapped eyes on the new family home for the first time. Place isn't fit for a dog. Then why are you so keen to get your hands on it? Well, I want the land. Figured on getting it cheap when the old man turned up his toes. Ah, oh, yeah. It's got nothing to do with revenge, then. Driving the Petersons out of Charlton forever. What if they take a liking to country air? Decide they want to stick around? Brian. Shut up. Just remember who pays your wages. <laughs> this place could sure do with a coat of paint. It needs much more than paint. I'll see if I can get some of the blokes to come and give you a hand. Oh, no, I couldn't. No worries. Anything we can do to help a neighbour. Well, I better see about getting this car of yours out of the ditch. How far out of town did you say it was? About five kilometres. Tie blowout, was it? No. We ran off the road by some men chasing a wild horse. I asked them to give us a hand, but they... Garrett, what did he say to you? Nothing much. He was more interested in the horses. He's a nasty piece of work. Didn't your husband ever mention him? No. Why? Well, they say your husband and Garrett had a fight years ago. I don't know what it was about. It was before I came here. And them that do know aren't saying anything. But apparently Garrett had him run out of town and swore he'd kill him if he ever returned. What? Well, do you think that he ran us off the road deliberately? No. I wouldn't put it past him to hold a grudge, but I don't think he'd go that far. Well... Thanks for the coffee, Rose, and don't worry about the car. I'll take care of that. Mum, could I go with her? I could show where the car is. It's fine by me. Oh, all right. What about me? No, Mike, I need you here with me. It's so faint. I'm sorry about your father, Anna. Your mother's still pretty cut up about it, isn't she? Yeah, it was only a month ago. My father taught me everything he knew about horses. Yeah? You're a good rider, are you? Yeah. It's a really good pony club in Charlton. The meeting tomorrow, why don't you come along and see about joining? I don't have a horse. Well, I'll keep my eyes open. Someone might have one for sale. Is this thing out of farmer? Yeah. 
Yeah, he owns most of the land around here. Most of the shops in the district too. And he breeds some of the finest racehorses in the country. Oh, I don't like him. I hope he didn't catch a wild horse. He didn't. The whole town would have heard about it if he had. But he will in the end. Why does he want to kill him? Well, he's after Garrett's prize mares. You see, he'd round them up and take them into the bush if Garrett doesn't shoot him first. So if the horse is wild, then that means no one owns it. If no one wants him. So if I call him, I can kill him. Sure, but you'd never tame him. It's bad news from what I've heard. <laughs> kids. Has to be. The one your dad doesn't like. The shop's closed. But the door's open. The door's open. The shop's closed. What time will it open? Maybe tomorrow, maybe not. But I need to get these things for my mum. Tell her to go back to Australia. The shops are always open there. Are you Mike Peterson? Yeah. Got a shopping list there, have you? Yeah, but... Let me see. Wayne. What, what's wrong, Mr. Peabody? My dad didn't say anything about banning me from the shop, did he? No, but... Good. Mrs. Peterson. My name's Garrett. Yes, I know. Well, I came to apologise for the little run-in we had yesterday. I understand Jean Bailey's towing your car back. Yes. Good. So, not what you're used to, I bet. Yeah, you got your work cut out for you here. We'll manage. Tell you what. I'll give you 70000 for the place. That's land value, of course. The house isn't worth anything. This is our home, Mr. Garrett. It's not for sale. I knew your husband. He worked for me once. Oh. He never mentioned it. No. No, he wouldn't have. Let me know when you change your mind, Mrs. Peterson. Charlton can be a very inhospitable town. Especially to strangers. Australian? 
to see you hop like a kangaroo. No, what for? Imagination. I told you, keep out of trouble. But no, you always have to be showing off. Now, Scrub, make sure he's just behind his ears. I did see a ghost. The other kids saw it too. Yeah, I know, Mike. I've seen him as well. Yeah? When? Last night. I snuck out and found a wild stallion and caught up in some wire. Beautiful, Mike. I almost got to catch him too, but the ghost appeared and frightened him off. Yeah, pretty scary, eh? Yeah, well, at least you scared the kids away before they really got you. Yeah, I'm going to get them next time I see them. Uh, listen, Mike, don't say anything to Mum about finding the horse. You know what she'll say. Sorry, Dad. I was reading. Lost track of the time. Hey, Wayne, you should have come down to the graveyard this morning. We got that Peterson kid a real beauty. You should have seen him run. Even Warren couldn't have caught him. <laughs> I'd have run too if that tub of lard was chasing me. Why can't you pick him some in your own size? We didn't hurt him. We just gave him a nice mud bath. <laughs> Thinking it's great for the complexion. <laughs> Only old Gonzalez shut up before he'd finished. It's real spooky. How old do you think he is, Dad? Oh, he's been living out there alone in the bush for years. Better keep away from him. You remember what happened to Harry Doyle? Harry got lost and fell over the cliff. Maybe. I have to think up something really good to do to those kids at school on Monday. I want you all to stay away from that family, do you hear me? Mr. Thursday. <clears throat> Why is everybody so down on them anyway? I mean, I, I thought we should be trying to make them feel at home, especially seeing their father's dead. You heard me, Wayne. Stay away from them. We don't want them here. When are we going to get the electricity connected, Mum? I'm not sure. When I decide whether I can make this place habitable or not. When will that be? I don't know, Mike. Mum, the Pony Club's meeting tomorrow. Is it? Can I go? No, Anna, I need your help here. But it won't be... I said no! How am I going to make this place livable if you won't help me? Well, I just can't do it all on my own.
going to buy the paint. You and Mike keep on working. Yes, ma'am. I'll meet you out for a while, did she? Yeah. This girl's very good, Jenny Garrett. It's a lovely mare she's riding. Yeah, it's worth a fortune, I've heard. But then Garrett can afford the best. Steady on, you silly fool! <laughs> Looks like she's hurt! She's all right. Better see if there's anything I can do. Are you okay? Yeah. You all right? Get back! I'm only staring at more. Ginny, get on me. Tony, you need to clear around. Oh, yeah, his horse did. You know what Dad would do to them if he had to give them lessons? He'd make them trot for hours and hours without stirrups till they got their balance instead of hanging onto the reins. You know, if I had a horse, I'd show them all. Even if it was just an old nag, it'd be better than Eclipse. If you're both finished, you can start getting ready for bed. Good night, Mum. Good night. Uh, Mike and I thought we'd get up early tomorrow, get some painting in before school. No, the painting must wait till the weekend now. But I... You have other plans for the weekend? Yeah. I was going to go and look for the brown horse. Horses. Oh, Anna, forget horses. You're old enough to understand. We can't afford such things. N no, this horse wouldn't cost anything. Whoever catches him can have him. A wild horse. Who's going to train it? Me. I can do it, Mum. You know I can. Anna, try to understand. Your father was killed by a horse. I don't want to lose you the same way. Well, that was an accident.
could have happened anywhere at any time. But I could get run over by a car walking to school. Enough. We are not making any plans for the future. I haven't decided how long we're going to stay here yet. This is what Dad wanted. I have to make the decisions now. I mean, this place, it needs so much work and, and money. And the people here, they don't go out of their way to make us welcome. Oh, I don't know. But we'll see. Now go to bed. You've got school tomorrow. Not that much of a gentleman. What a Mrs. Peterson. To reconsider my offer yet. No, Mr. Garrett. You will. The other day when I asked you which way the Brumby went, you lied to me, didn't you? You sent us on a wild goose chase. Now that Brumby is a pest. If you came from these parts, you'd know the only cure for a horse like that is a bullet through the head. We don't need nuisances here. We've got enough to do with our time. My offer stands, Mrs. Peterson. What offer? He wants to buy the house and the land. You're not going to sell. I don't know. But you can't. I said I don't know. I was wondering if you'd make it on time. Don't worry, I'll look after them. Thanks. Now I want you all to meet Anna and Mike. It's their first day, so I want you to look after them. No worries, Miss Bailey. We'll look after them, won't we? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad you're all feeling so obliging, because any trouble, and you'll have me to answer to. Now, Mike, you go and sit down the back, and Anna, you can sit over there with Wayne. Hey, Wayne, here comes your girlfriend. <laughs> Hi. So let's have a nice, quiet ride to school for a change, shall we? Morning, Mr. Garrett. How'd you go with the Peterson woman? Is it any of your business, George? Sorry about my brother, he's a real idiot sometimes. It's not easy changing schools, is it? If you um if you need any help I don't. with anything. Listen, I I heard what happened to your brother the other day. Yeah, it was real funny, wasn't it? No, I didn't think so. I, I'm sorry it happened. Yeah, well, it was lucky they got frightened off by the ghost before Mike got hurt. Ghost? What ghost? He's an old man with a sort of dark cape. 
I've smoked so I must say too. No, no, that's old Gonzalez. He's real, but um, you, you better stay away from him. Why? Well, they say he's a murderer. He, he lives in the forest and anybody who enters his land never comes out alive. Oh, yeah. Well, why isn't he in jail then? Well, the, the cops have been trying to get him for years, but nobody knows where he lives. He just disappears into the forest like a, like a phantom. seemed like a pretty good reason to me. Are you all right, Mike? Now, what did I tell you lot before? I'm going to tell the headmaster about this, and I wouldn't be surprised if you're all on two weeks' detention after school. Two weeks? But I have to practice for the pony club competition. Oh, what a shame. Don't worry. I'm going to get them for this. that Brumby. There yeah, where? Up by Willow Ridge. I got in a shot, but old Gonzales spooked him and he took off. I'll head back there straight away with some of the men. Good. Could be where he feeds. Take the bulldozer, dig some traps. Maybe we can get that rogue before he does more damage to my broodstock. Right, oh, boss. Oh, and uh, Brian, next time you miss him, don't bother coming back. Home. You can have a ride too, if you want. An eclipse? Yeah. Okay. Anna, we'll be all right. Of course it will. Come on. Today, Mike. You sure you don't mind, Jenny? Wouldn't have asked you if I did, would I? Come on. Let's go, Come on, Anna.
length looks pretty right. Did a rip, Jenny. Well, will you look at that? She can really ride. Better than you two. Oh, yeah? Tony, no! You said you could ride. Are you all right? You two ought to be shot letting her ride that horse. She ought to be shot for letting go of the reins and she fell. Dad's gonna kill me. Good. Are you hurt? <laughs> Thought you could ride, did you? Thought we'd let you join the pony club. Well, we showed you. We don't want you. We're your stupid brother around here. Why don't you just go back to where you came from? Go home, Anna. Why don't you leave her alone? And away. I hate you. We're going to have to tell someone. I mean, what if Anna's lost? It's her problem. Yeah, it's her fault Eclipse took off. What's Dad going to say when he finds out? He's going to be furious. We might all get a hiding. Well, if you ask me, you deserve everything you get. I mean, first you lie to Anna, you make her feel like you want to be her friend, and then you spook Eclipse. Yeah, Anna could have broken her neck. Maybe we'd all be better off if she had. Oh, that make me sick. He's right about one thing. We're in trouble. Maybe not. It's not our fault that stupid Peterson kid loves riding horses so much, is it? How were we to know she was going to steal Eclipse? Well, how many warnings does one girl need? Anna was just upset, Mum. She'll be home soon. By the time I finish with her, she'll be more than upset. She'll wish she'd never come home. Horses always mean trouble. Always.
this a boy? Want me to follow you? Now you take me back to the town, please. Can you? <gasps> Just remember, stick to the story. I don't believe it. You're actually going to let Anna take the blame for this. I mean, the only reason Eclipse went missing is because you threw a stone at her. No one asked for your opinion. Yeah, if you're half as smart as you think you are, Wayne, you keep your mouth shut. No way. I'm going to tell Dad. You do, Wayne. And we'll make things even worse for your pretty girlfriend. You think Dad's going to believe you when he finds out you fancy her? Jenny, get in here. Stand? Eclipse isn't in a stall and a feed bin hasn't been touched. What do you know about it? <laughs> Nothing. I think I know, Dad. I didn't ask you. I asked her. We've well, got a mouth. Use it. It was a new girl. Anna Peterson. Everyone knows how crazy she is about horses. Go on. Well, she came to look at Eclipse after school. She must have stolen her. That's right, Dad. That must have been what happened. Oh, I'll tell the truth. No, you tell the truth, Wayne. Tell Dad how you and Anna Peterson have been hanging around together, making eyes at each other. I told you you would have nothing to do with that family. Dad, I haven't. Outside, both of you. I'll talk to you when I get back. Saddle's gone too. Oh, that's right. She must have known she couldn't ride it without one. Hey, Dad, look at this. <gasps> you reckon we catch the Brumby this time, boss? Would give us a bonus. <laughs> well. Maybe we'll keep our jobs, no. eh? Oh. Stop drunk! No! Everyone knows where I am. If you hurt me, then they'll come and get you. Why should they hurt you? 
Why did you grab hold of me? To stop you, of course. If I don't get back, then they'll come looking. Look. That's you if I don't grab you. Now you have a choice. Either I help you, or you let Garrett's men help. But they may not want to help. They are too busy digging traps like that for the wild horse. Why should I trust you? Why should you trust Garrett's men? Especially when your name is Peterson. What do you mean? Uh, go and find them then. No, wait. They say that you're evil. They say a lot about me. There's a horse. She's one of Mr. Garrett's. She's stuck in a mud pool and can't get out. She's exhausted. So that's why he came to me. For help? Vamos, bonito. Mira, fuerte. It's hard. Paul, get up. Vamos, come on. Venga, tira. Vamos, tu esfuerzo pequeña. Come on. Come on. Mi fuego salvaje. She will make a fine wife for you. What did you call it? Fuego salvaje. White fire. Wild fire. Yeah, it suits him. Is he yours? He belongs to no one. He never will. We must check the mare for injuries. Yeah, I've got to get her back to the garrets. <laughs> not tonight. It will be dark soon, and you will not find your way back. And she's too tired to walk that far. Oh, but I've got to. Mum will be worried sick. I'm more concerned about my daughter than your horses, Mr. Garrett. Yeah, and so you should be. She's going to be in a lot of trouble for this. We don't take kindly to horse thieves. She didn't steal it. She wouldn't do a thing like that. No? Seems to me she's inherited more than just horse sense from her father. What do you mean? Your husband stole a champion stallion from me. Now your daughter's gone and done the same thing. You better reconsider my offer, Mrs. Peterson. You're going to need the money for legal fees. Mike. Mike, I want you to stay here. If Anna comes back before I'm back, you keep her here, all right? Where are you going? To get Miss Bailey to call the police. If Anna's lost somewhere out there in the bush, they'll need to organize a search party. Now, you be a good boy. And please, don't go out of the house, all right? It'll be dark soon. How much further is it? You ask too many questions. Sorry. Vamos, bonita. Not far now.
at last. Home sweet truck. Here we are. All these animals. It's like a zoo here. No one. It's like a zoo out there. Animals don't do anyone harm. Human zoo. So you look after all of them? Someone has to. It's what I call my chosen vocation. So where do you come from? From many countries. But Spain was my home a long time ago. Well, this will be the stall for our friend. Go and get me some water. I will wash her and check her for injuries. Give me a heart attack. Is she here? They're starting the search as soon as it's light. I want to go too. No. She's my sister. Now, Mike, your mum's very upset. And she doesn't want to lose you too, does she? Now, I'm going to stay tonight and help. And I want you to show me where the food is and help me make the dinner. Why do you taste this? Sol Gonzalez makes the best veggie soup ever. <laughs> is that right? Well, he's a pretty good cook for an evil murderer then, isn't he? <laughs> well, I, I tell everyone that so that they'll leave him alone. See, I'm the only one who knows where he lives and he made me promise not to tell anyone. Did you really come all the way out here to ask him to help find me? <laughs> yeah. See, he knows the country backwards and if anyone could find you, it would be him. Yeah, but... Why? I don't know. I guess I just don't like the way Tony and Ginny treat you, that's all. They only do it to get on side with Dad. Why does he hate us so much? What happened between him and my dad? She'll be okay after some rest. Of course, she can be ridden for a couple of days, but... Mm, smells good. Too. Yeah, you make real good soup, Gonzalez. It all happened a long time ago. Twenty years. What? Senor Garris and your father. You know about it. Mm. I went and asked Emily. She's lived here all her life and knows everybody's business. But getting the story from her was like getting blood from a stone. I just can't understand why the people in this town are so frightened of Garrett. But then they all rely on him for work, so I suppose they're just following orders. Now, John never mentioned any of this. He was always so keen to get back here. Even before we were married, all he ever talked about was making enough money to come back here and set up a stud on his parents' property. So he wouldn't have to rely on Garrett for work like everyone else. He was a good man, your father. And the best with horses. No one could handle them like he could. He worked for all Senor Garrett, your grandfather, as assistant trainer. And they had many fine horses that won races all over the country. But one they had, which was funny and faster than any, a beautiful chestnut stallion. They were convinced 
he could win the great Melbourne Cup race in Australia. I love that horse very much. Gareth's son, your father, was always rough with the animals. Yeah, he still is. And one day, John Peterson found him whipping the horse. There was a fight, and Garrett, who got soundly beaten, tried to persuade the old man to sack your father. But old Senor Garrett knew he could never hope to win the race without John's training, so he kept him on. Then, one morning, both John and the horse were missing. Young Garrett claimed Peterson had stolen the horse and said after him with many men, they got John. But unfortunately, the horse had fallen into a gully and broken two legs. It had to be destroyed. John Peterson swore he hadn't stolen the horse, that he had discovered the stable door open and tracked the animal. However, Garrett wanted to have him thrown in jail, but he couldn't prove he was a horse thief. Finally, the old man told Peterson to get out of town. That's when he came to Australia and met Mum. Hmm. Long time ago. A very long time ago. Well, now finish your soup and get some sleep. You must both sleep very early in the morning. You lead the first team up this way. We'll head off north and circle around. Meet you here. Right, Sergeant. I want that girl arrested when you find her, Phil. Our first priority is to make sure she's all right, Mr. Garrett. You are joining the search. My priority is to find my horse. If the girl's with her, we'll bring her back, don't you worry. Not the most caring person, is he? Only about money. Anna's brother's gone now. He's gone looking for her. He left a note. Oh, great. Now there's two of them out there. Any news? Wildfire. I want to say goodbye to him. <laughs> He'll be around. He wants to make sure you get his girlfriend back home safe and sound. <laughs> <laughs> Here you are. Go gently with her and remember, no raiding. Of course not. I don't know how to thank you for your help, Gonzales. I'll tell you. Keep this place a secret. Tell no one you 
of being here. Understood? Sure. Come on. It's going to take us ages to get back. They've probably got a search party for you already. What about you? <laughs> My dad probably doesn't even realize I'm gone. See you, Gonzalez. Bye, Gonzalez. Bye, Wayne. Thank Bye. you. Bye, Anna. That's all right. It's a shame you can't ride a clip. So no, I'm fine, really. You're not frightened of horses, are you? Of course not. I fell once. Dad wanted me to take this jump, and it was too high, so I fell and smashed my kneecap. No. <clears throat> I mean, it was, it was my fault. I shouldn't have tried the jump just to please him. But you love horses, I can tell. Well, I'd be rusty now. I mean, that was five years ago. <laughs> Why don't you let me give you some lessons? <laughs> I'll have you riding better than Ginny or Tony. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's think about that. OK. <laughs> you see, this place is quite dangerous. You see, it's volcanic. I mean, that's why there's no people here. Just wild horses and old Gonzales. A girl? I think she heard something. What was that? What? No, it's just the birds. No, no, listen. It's Mike. It's this way. Doctor. We can't just leave him here. Right, take a clips. Ride as fast as you can. I'm, I'm just going to have to wait until you get back. No, Wayne, I can't. You heard what Gonzalez said. She can't be ridden for two days at least. Anna, it's the only way. What's more important, the, the horse or your brother's life? No, Anna, you can't. He, he's never been broken in. He'll kill you. Anna, don't get too close. I'm too... Kato, okay, you have to help us. Help us. Hey. Anna, be careful. <laughs> don't worry. I'll be back as soon as I can. Hang on, Mike. He's going to fetch some help. Easy does it, mate. Try not to move. you know, and it's time the whole town started standing up to him. Look! Oh, it's Anna! Good grief! And she's riding that wild horse! Very well by the looks of it. Anna! There's no time, it's Mike. We need an ambulance, he's hurt really badly. Anna!
I don't know what you're so upset about. Eclipse is in good shape. Yeah, that's more than I'll say for you. Dad, you can say what you like. Right now, I'm concerned about one thing. Mike Peterson's in hospital and he's in a bad way. And you two are the reason. What's it got to do with him? Well, because they've been trying to please you, they've bullied Mike, they've tricked Anna into writing Eclipse and then made her bolt. Anna, Anna didn't steal Eclipse. It's a story they made up to get themselves off the hook. Mike could have died in that trap. He could still die. I know just who to blame. They asked for it. Always going on about horses and how good she is. Right, Dad? I'll deal with you two later. Where's the kid? Local hospital. Still want to get that Brumby boss? Yeah, why? I reckon I know how we can track him. Is that right? You tell me about it. Son, brother. Now look at the trouble you've got us in. You want to make something of it? I'm just in the mood. He's a bad fool. They're doing all they can. This is all my fault. For all the trouble I've caused. Look at Mum. Oh, she's right. I should just forget about horses. Wildfire. Nonsense. You've done nothing to be ashamed of. If anyone's to blame, it's Garrett. Him and his horse traps, it's barbaric. His kids are just as bad. Always trying to impress him. Mum. I'm sorry. I feel awful. Mrs. Peterson, you can see your son now. How is he? He has a couple of broken ribs and he's punctured a lung. It's the bump on the head I'm worried about, though. I want to transfer him to Auckland as quickly as possible for a CAT scan. We don't have the facilities to look after him here. Thank you, Doctor. It was a mistake to come here. Big mistake. Look what's happened to both of you. I hope you're right, Mum. We're leaving here today. We're staying in Auckland until you're well enough to travel. And then we're going back to Australia. No, Mum. Dad won't. Shh. Shh, Your dad never told us about Mr. Garrett. Never told us how the whole town would be against us. We can't live here. Mum's right, Mike. We should just take Garrett's offer and sell up. But the horse. You should... She was right about that too. All this started because I'm mad about horses. You could have died. I never want to forgive myself. There's something I have to do, Mum. I'll be back soon, I promise. Very nice. Come back. What exactly have you got against the Petersons, George? What have they ever done to you? Well, nothing exactly, but... But Mr Garrett says they're not welcome, so good old George makes them feel like lepers. Not only good old George, but most of the town. Mr. Garrett's an important man around here. Mr. Garrett's a pig. And anyone who hasn't got the guts to think for themselves, rather, let Mr. Garrett do their thinking for them, they're lower than a snake's belly, I reckon. And if you won't listen to sense, there are plenty around here who will. Morning, George. Sorry, Mr. Garrett. Shop's closed. You copy, boss? Hey, 
Yeah, I'm here. The Peterson girl's heading back into the bush. You want me to follow her? To the right. And stay in touch. I'm on my way. You look like you need this. We'll be going to Auckland with him. We'll find somewhere to stay till he's well enough to travel and then... I just can't cope with this place anymore. I think you'll find it a bit easier now. I've just been into town and talked to some of the people and they're all pretty disgusted with the way Garrett's been treating you. I've even organised a working bee to fix up your house. Everyone's chipped in something. Thank you. But it doesn't alter my decision. I've decided to accept Garrett's offer. I'm taking my children back to Australia. No, Mum. It's wrong to run away. He's right, Rose. Your husband knew that. That's why he was always so determined to come back here and stand up to Garrett. If that's what you want. Tell Anna. She's heading up toward the gorge, boss. Over. Keep her inside. I'll be with you in ten minutes. What are you doing back here? I had to see Wildfire again. He let me ride him, you know. If it wasn't for him, my brother would probably be dead. But Wildfire took me to get help. So that's why he came back here in such a sweat. I thought Gareth's men had been chasing him again. My mother wants us to move back to Australia. So we have to go to Auckland till Mike gets better. And I just wanted to see him again. Wait just a minute. You mean I've gone to all this trouble? To help you, and you are not going to say goodbye to your friend? I can't. It seems like fire agrees with me. I've told you I can't. I just can't. Anna, stop your tears. Are you not going to ride him? Just one last time. A perfect couple, if ever I saw one. <laughs> Who's there? Get away from that horse, girl. We wouldn't want to miss. No! <laughs> I said, move it! Is this your answer to everything, Senor Garrett? A bullet! Ah, oh, shut up, old man. All your life you've been the same. Anything or anybody that stands in your way has to be destroyed. Like John Peterson. He made you look like the weak, sniveling coward that you are. So you did your best to ruin his life. I said shut up. He never stole your horse, Senor Garrett. I saw his trucks in the bush. His footprints covered the hoofprints. 
was following the horse, not leading it away. He told the truth when he said the stable door was open. Who let the horse go, Senor Garrett? You? No. Yeah, he stole it. I had witnesses. Whatever you say, Senor Garrett, you are always right. You were right when you forced your own son to ride a horse he couldn't handle. You are right when you terrify your children into doing what they can to please you. Shut up, you old fool! You know nothing! <laughs> <laughs> Get after him! Well, looks like he's outsmarted himself this time. He won't be driving my broodmares crazy anymore. <laughs> you, you, watch me! Well done, Senor Garrett. You've got your own way again. I hope it makes you happy, because everyone else who comes into contact with you ends up hurting. What's the matter with you? Don't you look down your nose at me. Who do you think you are? You just remember who pays your wages! What are you doing here? You're supposed to be working for me. Well, we figured we had a bit of time owing Mr. Garrett, so we decided to take a day off and be neighborly. Of course, if you don't like it, you could give us all the sack. But I don't reckon you'd find many people around here too willing to work for you anymore. Too much bad feelings, you know. Spot you later, boss. Riding lessons. And you look like you're doing okay without them. Yeah, I, I guess I just need to get my confidence back. <laughs> oh, do you want to go for a ride? Yeah, I'd love to, if I had a horse. Well, what's wrong with that one?
Maybe buying a horse won't be necessary. <laughs> it's got more lives than a cat, that Brumby. <laughs> Race you to the forest! Thank you.